wooden door creaking, out came a pair of thick thighs. At once, the crowd that had been having fun went quiet. Everyone just couldn't help but step back to avoid the approaching principal. Matilda was so nervous she could hardly breathe, especially when she saw the whip in the principal's hand. So scared was she that she hid herself. A kind-hearted female classmate, after seeing Matilda, took the initiative to tell her all the information about the principal. It was said that the principal had been in the Olympics and was good at shot put, javelin, and hammer throw. She liked to grab disobedient students, lift them up high, and throw them out of the window. What was even scarier was that she had a detention room full of nails, which she used to punish students who talked back to her. Matilda was terrified all of a sudden. The principal pushed Matilda aside and walked up to the girl in the pink jumpsuit. She grabbed the girl's braid, spun her around and around, and then let go and threw her out just because she didn't like girls with braids. Matilda's frightened heart didn't calm down until she met her math teacher. Miss Honey was a sweet person. She told the students to be friendly to the new classmate and gently introduced the classroom rules to Matilda. When they were going over multiplication, Matilda showed some amazing calculating skills. Miss Honey was amazed and was certain that Matilda was a genius. Then she went to the principal's office and proposed that Matilda skip grades and go right to the sixth grade. But this made the principal unhappy, she hated and was jealous of smart students. The next day at school, without a word, the principal locked Matilda in the detention room. Luckily, Miss Honey noticed something was wrong and saved the girl in time. This really made the bad, tempered principal angry. She stormed into the classroom during class and picked on the students on purpose. After making a big fuss for no reason at all, the principal was thirsty. She just poured a glass of water and was about to drink it when she saw a chameleon in the cup. This made her really angry. She thought it was Matilda's revenge and kept using mean words to put the girl down. Looking at the mean principal, Matilda was really angry. She knitted her brows tightly and her eyes became sharp. Soon, the glass broke under her stare and the chameleon flew out and landed on the principal's clothes. The principal was so scared that she let out a frightened scream. Matilda quickly realized that her superpower had awakened. She decided to really develop her superpower and teach this mean principal a lesson. 